What's going on YouTube is Donnie B all day offering knife reviews and free hugs. Come on, bring it in. Oh my gosh, I love that. All right, guys. So today I'm bringing you the Bug Shot Big Chief in yellow. It is very, very attractive. Um, this thing is four and three eighths closed. And I think it's got a three and a half inch blade. It's a drop point. Um, it is uh, three CR thirteen steel, uh, made in China. Even though it's designed in the USA, so some guy at the table said, "Oh, let's make this in China." But it's a really, really good knife. It's an assist open. Um, you do have your thumb lugs. It is a liner lock. It is adjustable, but the spring open is um, is really you have to really use a little bit of muscle. But what it is is the closing. So here, I could like gently tap until I get to here. Now you see how I push and it comes right back? That's how far that, look at this. That spring action is amazing. Um, it makes closing really tight. It's very, very nice. Now, these are aluminum scales on a steel frame, right? And I don't think this camera is gonna do it any justice. They are really nice. The um, Indian head with the skull face and the headdress is actually textured. It's raised. It's painted on there, right? And um, I'll tell you what, man. It is really freaking attractive. Very, very nice. Now let's get into some of the fine points. Jimping is everywhere. Um, here, you have this Ricasso right here, which is like a mini choil. So if you're like uh, a caterpillar you can stick your one of your legs in there um, but here this um, finger hold right here actually is somewhat like, built like a choil which is cool it's more like a double finger groove triple finger groove almost um, but it's actually really nice the liner lock itself has jimping on it the blade itself on the on the uh, spine right here has jimping on it the heel right here the rear has jimping on it a uh, separated lanyard hole uh which is nice um so you have three points of jimping you have a liner lock you have aluminum scales they're light you have a painted design you have a beautiful fat drop point blade i mean it's it's pretty fat um and all four a very very good price these things retail for about 35 bucks and you can get them through like a cutlery corner i believe it is i think you can get this for like 13 to 14 dollars and it is a nice little freaking knife the um the scales are almost metallic yeah, man really cool i think i just lost my <laughs> so um let's see how sharp it is oh i can literally feel it pulling hair Oh, let me see. I'm pretty sure you can see those. That is shave sharp. Did you guys see that freaking leaf come by? Look like an alien ship. Man, this is going to be a new kind of video right here. Aliens in the midway. We're not in the midway. All right, so let's get back on to this big guy right here. So the big chief, It's I think they call it like the big yellow chief. And then there's the big blue chief. Um, all the big chiefs are the same. They just have different color scales, right? So you'll find the big blue chief, the big yellow chief, the big red chief, whatever, big black chief, um, which is totally different. The big black chief, self-explanatory. It's like the big white chief. Um, so you do have a uh, boop, a little clip right there, and it's not ambidextrous. It belongs in one place. It fits in one place. You don't like it, take it off. Now you have a clean knife, a clean little pocket knife instead of an attachable knife bada boom bada bang easy enough so um here's a little cool thing the little buckshot logo is a bear who is running and for my very good friend um he knows running bear because it's his name toya chachani so awesome uh looks very cool the blade is uh, the blade is stout, man. It's stout. Looks really good. Not stout like I don't know. I think that's what they call. I don't. I never had to drink alcohol in my life. So, but isn't that what they call like a beer? It's stout. Um, really, really cool. But 
you know, I could sit here and tell you it's really cool all day long. But I gotta show you, man. I gotta show you. So let's um let's press pause and then continue. I was able to show you that it is shave sharp. But now we need to find out if it's water bottle sharp. So now I need to hit this thing high, otherwise I'm not going to have enough edge to get all the way through and what I'm gonna do is just open it. So I'm gonna try hard to, to get far. If I end up pulling, then well, you'll see. We'll, fight. we'll figure it out together. Uh-oh, let's go check that out. So we're gonna blame that push on Donnie B all day. I opened it up, but you can see where I hit it. And I hit this part right here, like this on the bottle, and it pushed. And when I pushed it, because I was trying, what I wanted to do was, I wanted to get really far into the bottle so it would slice open, and I didn't want to hit it like this and just give it a slice. So I overcompensated, like many men do, and uh, I ended up hitting it with the handle. And what happened is, as it pushed, I slid the blade down and that's why we have this nice empty water bottle. Boop. But you can see it was no problem cutting through. Let's see if we can take out some more of that. Um, that went through both sides. Oh, you're way down here. Both sides ripping cleanly. Um, the thing is just sharp. It's sharp. It's beautifully sharp. Let's get up here in the hard part and open it up no problem so will it cut a water bottle yes it would do an even better job if i could aim <laughs> um obviously we found the area where i'm horrible and that's aiming you should see the floor near my toilet what a mess so uh let's continue here all right so i've said it before and i'll say it again Lockbacks, especially small ones, aren't made as choppers. However, you want to know if your knife can handle a little bit of chopping in an emergency situation. If you really, really need to get through something, you know what I mean? Like if you're in that shining hotel and those two little bitches on tricycles come at you, you want to get through the door, get a bigger knife. You want to know if it can chop. So, can it chop? Absolutely, it's a freaking knife. Any knife can chop. Can it chop well? It chops well enough to make a hole. So, let's check out the uh, let's check out the edge though. Let's see if we did any kind of damage. Banging it down there, and the edge is beautiful, guys. The edge is beautiful. Nice job. Nice job by uh, Buckshot here making a good edge let's go test it some more all right so here we are at the stump i figure maybe we'll do some drop tests first um and uh see how the balance goes and then we'll give it a couple of little throws and we'll see how scale tightness works so first things first now this is kind of heavy to the rear but man did that drop nice and straight that was pretty good let's try that one more time and consistency and the drop and I attribute that to the fact that this blade is nice and fat this is a pretty badass blade now it's a lock back so you don't want to pry too much but I want to pry a little bit just to test the tip and we will see that this tip has no deviation no bending no chipping no rolls no folds not too shabby for a knife that you can pick up sub $15 what all right so let's uh give it a couple uh tosses and it's got some pretty decent bite remember it's a fat blade so I don't expect it to go crazy in the bite department let's go one more time really test the tip here and test the scales <laughs> well when you hit it like this on a fat blade with a lot of weight that's gonna happen you want to hit it up and down like this so uh... All right, that was in there pretty good. Any tip damage, none at all. Any loosening, none at all. So far, so good. So let's take some 
nice thick vacuum cleaner hose right here and let's open it up so that was pretty simple wow i tried opening just one half it actually went through two um, that did a little better than i thought so remember this is a pocket knife look at this guys look at this that is so simple holy moly um, it's a pocket knife so you think what you're going to use this for is pocket knife type tasks you know simple cutting things like that and worst case scenario self-defense which this thing will definitely work nice fat blade in turn pull holy crap that's going to do some damage um, as far as its abilities it is taking care of this uh this hose i mean like the hose is a joke i'm gonna go the long way here and <laughs> i'm telling you it slices through so freaking easily does it change the the edge geometry does it do oh man it's really really nice guys i i can't get over the fact that i paid less than 15 freaking dollars for this so uh let's see let's take a nice stick here and you know we'll do the pocket knife special knock off some bark and shave some wood man this wood is hard 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 so I, I like the fact that this wood is hard because it's really showing off that this blade can go through just about anything right here as far as wood this is hard wood so if you need to make spikes for a trap boom if you need to make a bow boom how do we know because we can notch with it and if you need to set a bow string up you need a notch and this just made quick work of that little notch right so there's that notch now if we want to make a lincoln log notch aka the square notch um we just do it twice so we're going to open that up and then just cut out the gap so you all know if you're building fires you're building structures you need to have a good square knot especially if you have just a bunch of these skinny little things and you need to make a uh, overnight shelter that you don't want rolling away or blowing away those square notches are crazy important um i'll tell you what so far so far i'm digging it don't worry Donnie beat it all day and just get shot all right so well maybe let me check all right so let's see if we can't uh use this holy snap so check this out guys not only did i i baton through this i'm talking immaculate and clean my last strike on the baton as it separated left the knife stuck in the wood you've got to be shitting me so um i call that a success i mean that that's clean as clean can be Let's check this edge, see if there's any warping, see if there's any edge damage. None at all. Guys, $35 retail, 13 and change on Cutlery Corner on their website. You've got to be kidding me. I ended up picking up a bunch of stuff from them that I'm going to be getting in soon. Um, and a lot of it's going to be um, some folders, some congresses and, and whatnot. And uh, so I'm going to do a bunch of those little folders and, and get some of those out of the way. But I'm going to give you guys a chance to see what the different ones do. And the thing is, I was able to pick them up so freaking cheap. Um, just like this one. I got this off Cutlery Corner. That's where I bought this thing. Um, you know, I was buying a lot of high-end pieces. And they were performing so well that it was almost like cheating. So I, th I thought... I'm gonna start buying some low-end pieces because that's where the actual test and most people aren't gonna be spending you know two hundred dollars on a knife you know most people aren't buying my extra large Espada for 640 bucks most people are gonna be spending you know between ten and twenty dollars for a knife so I want you guys to know that if you're out there just getting a little knife at your local you know hardware store or your Army Navy store and you see those knives out there for 10 bucks, 20 bucks, and you think, man, that's so cheap. I wonder if it's gonna break the first time I use it. Or I wanna show you some of those kind of knives 
like the frost cutlery knives and the whitetail cutlery knives and the chip away knives, things like that, things like this, that you can buy these knives at a lower price and get a higher value in action. You know what I mean? What they're going to do for you. So, you know, these things, these things are just good. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty. I don't usually do this dial. You guys know, um, if you watch my videos, I like to pull toward me. But, I mean, you get it. You get it. I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to do it my way because I like it better. You know, everybody has a preference. I like to make nice, nice, tight curls. And I like to do it easily. So, doing it my way. Did I get you in there? Um, that's the way I, I personally do it. Just comfort, if you guys like to feather stick like this, feather stick like that. I just have more control like that. So, so far, so great. This little guy right here is doing the job. All right, so I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, Donnie B all day. We took your recommendation and we went out and got that 10 point crossbow that you did a video on. And we love it and it works really good and we're out there and we're killing animals. But um, I forgot to bring my awesome skinning knife. All I had was that stupid knife you recommended for less than $15. Can I skin with it? Let's find out together. Let's see. Let's see if we can penetrate first. I'll tell you what, it's not a skinning knife. I can tell you that right away. But can it skin? You tell me, folks. If you're in a pinch and you need an emergency skinning knife, this thing with that big fat tip isn't going to be, uh, you know, the best thing you pull out of your pocket. But, you know, as soon as I went from a grip with my thumb on the jimping to my finger down the spine, um, it actually it actually turned out to be pretty easy. And uh, I have to say that I could definitely skin with this knife. Um, am I going to get the quality of skin job I'm going to get with... A actual skinning knife that Hen and Rooster 5010 no but I'll tell you what this thing is gonna do the freaking job oh yeah what do you have to say chief I want to sharp you hook on the corner I know that's some crazy stuff right there he said you can skin I love you chief all right so lastly um, I want to do a throw the problem is I'm finding the weight to be really far behind that freaking lug. So I'm having a ton of doubts and this thing's ability to fly straight and it's kind of making me rethink it. However, I'm down to be all day. So let's see if we can't get a turn in here. That one failed. I stabbed myself on a stick. All right, so let's try that again. <laughs> yeah. Ow! That went in there really nice too. That went in there really nice. So the first time I threw it, I hit the blade, but uh, I actually hit the spine. So if it was going to loosen, it was going to loosen there. And uh, while it's not a hundred percent crazy tight, that could just be the tensioner right here. Let's see. Let's make sure. Let's see it all working. It still opens, it still closes, it's still a knife. So, I'll tell you what, it's not made for throwing, that's that's for sure. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to be able to throw it. So, I'll t it, it, I mean, it held, it held. I'm uh, kind of blown away because I didn't think so. Now, over here I found there was a stick right here. See this thing? That is sharp. I, I didn't see that behind the leaves. I went to grab the knife. Here I am working with knives all this time. So I, I rarely ever cut myself. I go down to grab the knife. I get myself on a stick. Imagine that. And here we have it. Man, I'll tell you what. I had some, some fun with this little knife today. This is the Buckshot Big Chief. <laughs> it's obviously the yellow Big Chief. Um, and I have to say that uh, as a knife, it performs like a knife. I'm uh, pretty excited 
about this thing, man. Um, you know, I, I've had it now for a couple months. I carried it maybe twice. Didn't really use it for anything special. Uh, so today was, you know, kind of like popping its little knife cherry there. And I have to say that it performed pretty well. I'm, uh, I'm impressed with the Big Chief. Um, it, it, uh, it feels really, really good in the hand. The blade is just like a big fat leaf, you know, just sticking out there. It, it's, uh, it's sharp. It's strong. It gets the job done. Um, I mean, I batoned with this thing. I cut through rubber with this thing. I shaved with this thing. I threw this damn thing. Even skinned with it. The knife, the knife is handling everything I put at it. It's still sharp. It's still straight. It's still strong. And it's still under 15 freaking dollars. Guys, I'm telling you, if you want a decent pocket knife, a decent pocket knife, not a great pocket knife, you know what I mean? If you want to spend the $120 or whatever, go get that. Go get the SE Avispa and you will have a great pocket knife. But if you want a really good, a decent pocket knife that you're not spending hardly any money on, go get yourself the Buckshot. That thing is worthy of being in your pocket besides being attractive. And I'm not usually one that goes for those decorative looking knives. Like this is pretty much what I carry between that and a couple of my cases, my sod buster, my tribal lock, they're not very decorative. They're just good knives. And that's what I like. It's just, I just want a good knife. And um, this big chief right here is a pretty good knife. I like it. So, I don't know, you seen, uh, you seen what I saw? We all did it together. So go ahead and get up on the old interweb there and type yourself in Buckshot Big Chief. See what pops up and go ahead and grab yourself one of these things because it is definitely worth the money while it's at this price. I don't know how long it's going to be there, um, but it's definitely worth having at this price. Definitely worth having at this price. I am Donnie B. All Day. Until next knife.